Hello my beautiful people, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I noticed the other day when I was watching my videos, I wear the same shirt. I changed it today. <laughs> I, this is the working girl clothes, so I tend to be wearing the same thing. My nice warm sweater, my bling bling shirts. So I just thought that was funny, I had to share my working girl clothes. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed Sunday's video. I apologize, there was a little bit, um, I noticed a couple times it was unfocused and I apologize for that because I don't see that until I go to edit and I can't, I'm sorry, I am not any tech whatsoever. It took a lot for me just to get to be able to piece all my eight pieces of a video because most of the times my videos are like eight or nine clips that you have to piece together. So. When you're getting that, you're getting good from Sherry's. <laughs> Anyways, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, one whole part clip was gone. Like I, I brushed off all the glass and glitter and it never recorded. The only way I noticed was my camera turned off because it was st sitting there too long without being anything done. So I apologize. With that being said, today I am so excited. I bought these. I'm going to say about two weeks ago, maybe three, at Dollar Rama, and I stuck them away because I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on my Dollar Store box painted, and I did a Dutch pour, and I resined. Now, I've made about four of these um, three years ago. I have two teenage nieces, so four years ago, I made them one with the flip lid like a jewelry box and so that was kind of cool so when i seen this one it had the blue already in it which so then i did the blue but i was excited when i seen these there's these four dollars and everything is inlaid so you're gonna get a dutch pour video a resin video in a bling bling video. So with that being said, I am going to paint all of this white, just the, the box itself, the front, I'm going to paint in a dark green, like a foresty green. I'm gonna have to go through my paints and we'll do all that. And then the back inlaid, I'm gonna paint green. So and then I'm going to where there's no spots in here. I'm thinking some liquid glass is going in there and some glitter. So with that being said, I am going to get my sandpaper because you should always, with anything, a good base, you have to have a good base, good prep, or your stuff isn't gonna turn out. So I'm gonna give this, it's kind of piley, so I'm gonna give it a roughed sand nothing extravagant just enough to take away that give it a wipe down we're going to go through all that because it's going to be a long video on a wednesday with that being said i'll see you beautiful people in a couple minutes when i'm all prepped bye okay we are back i am ready to prep everything and again like i said this is going to be a substantial video you have a fast forward button if you do not want to watch all of the process but when i put a video up i want everyone to know how to do everything i'm not skipping nothing so with that being said i just and i have to stop saying that someone pointed out to me that i said it 25 times in a video with that being said here we go <laughs> oh my goodness they had a couple they had another one there's this one with flowers and I think they had one more other kind as well. But I like these two because I thought you could um, paint it one color and then put your glitters different colors for the flowers. So I thought that was cool. So that might be another video, might not. But I thought we'd start. So with that being said, oh, I stopped myself. So. I'm going to remove the label. I hate when they put labels and it came off in one shot, which is amazing. Um, so we're going to sand. This is a 220 grit. It doesn't have to be. You could 
to me it could even be a little bit finer but you want to just get enough i'm going to cut it so it's a little more manageable it's a i don't know if you can see it it says right here 220. and again like i said i told painted for many 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 years we used to teach and this is your bases you need to have a good base or nothing is going to adhere you've got these little flaky things that are going to come off so with that i almost did it again <laughs> so we're just going to give it a light sand and more so the edging do something funky with our feet I think I have some like I said the sand does not have to be a whole lot just enough to get rid of that little bit of there's always that fuzzy I find when you get the dollar store stuff I'm gonna get the back also buy these in a block that um, molds to your stuff which is kind of cool and again I'm pretty sure I never noticed but I'm pretty sure the dollar store might even sell sand paper I got this stuff at home hardware here in Canada all right here we go you want to make sure the opening is nice because it's the front of your piece. And I'm just going to give just a little quick sand in the middle, inside. We're doing it all. We're going to go, go big or go home, right? And there again, nothing extravagant, just enough because there's always always these little like right there I can feel these little wee um, chunks and you don't want it to come off after you've painted everything so we're just going to give the box a sand and again like I said Hit that fast forward button, my friends. And I'm just going to do a light on the top. And it'll roughen up so the paint will adhere as well. There we go. That is that. Ten seconds. I'm going to take one of my Lysol wipes and give it a wipe down because you do not want dust on it as well before you start doing your paint so this is just going to be a quick little dusting usually you would just use a damp cloth but in times of need you just use what you've got and the like saw wipe is perfect inside because what i want to do is paint um, just a little bit of the inside as well. I'm not going to do the whole thing because you don't see the inside. There we go. Just make sure it's all gone. What I might do is just do a clear coat of um, something on the sides because I'm not going to paint the whole box. Or if I do, I'll just do a one coat white wash and that's about it. So there we go. We are prepped. Excited. Now, sorry if I'm being loud, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I pulled out my tool painting stuff. So we're gonna use my, this is folk art. We used to use this all the time. I'm just painting it white, but 
I can't be just me without doing anything different. I'm going to add some of my um, iridescent medium into the white. So my base is going to be a little bit sparkly. Then for the front of it, I am going to use um, folk art again. This one is um, Hunter's Green because I wanted something nice, deep green. And I bought this and I was actually going to mix it into my pouring. It is um, Dragonfly Glaze. I've had this for almost a year. Whenever it first came out, I bought it thinking it was a paint, but it's a glaze. So I didn't mix it with anything. So what I was thinking is on the front, because I'm not going to do nothing with this. So I figured when it's raised, I'll do a quick coat of this and on the back, because I'm doing the back inlay with the Hunter's trying to open it if I can. My nails all broke so I have no nails at the moment. It's crazy how you get nails that are all nice and long and then all of a sudden they break. There we go. Yeah because I actually I've seen a couple videos where people have been putting it into their pores so and it's clear. It goes from what I gather it goes clear. Oh my my. I'm gonna show you. Look at that. It's kind of like a glittery. So I'm going to put that on top of like a varnish on the this part and on the back. So we are going to, I'm just using my styrofoam plate because I'm cheap. I do have a, um, I went and I bought like a palette from Michael's, but I found it was too, too much of a pain. You had to keep, and I know I'm trying to go all environmental. Here we go. Nice big chunk because we're going to go through it. I'm going to probably end up having to do, I might do one coat with you and then do a second coat without you. And okay, so this is people ask how much you put. So that right there is just the blob of white. This is the artist loft. Um, iridescent medium and <laughs> it helps <laughs> it works better when you take that off right I probably have one that's already opened over there so I am gonna put that I'm gonna say that's probably what a tablespoon I should start measuring and that way I can give you accurate um, measurements and I'm gonna take my Silicone spatula. Thank you, Colette. In here, mix it all up. And speaking of, I have, um, I didn't realize that my lovely, um, these new uh, cups that I've been buying were not in my Amazon shop. So um, Colette pointed that out this morning. She couldn't find them this morning. This is, this is actually Sunday for me. Um, so I, they are now in the Amazon shop. So my apologies. I have so many things and I'm just like, oh, I'm falling behind on every single one of them. And I apologize for that. My comments aren't being, I'm having an issue with that. I can actually read now. So that's a good thing. Okay. So here we go. I just, um, we'll do it again. I'm going to put a little bit you can't talk with the paintbrush in your mouth a little bit of paint water in this jug just so that if I do need to brush off and I'm going to get a piece of paper towel oops if I can reach it and we are good to go all right let the fun begin and I'm not going to go crazy on the top because we're doing a dutch pour so there's going to be white paint on here so it's more so the sides, the underneath, the little legs. So here we go. And we are going to, I gotta make sure you're in there. Okay.
what I think we're going to do is on the back, we are going to um, do the raised part and the in, I don't know, that's a lot of work. I was going to say the inlaid, um, white as well so that that green will stand out but I think we might do the just the edge there we go one coat on that side I'm gonna wipe because I really want the front to be green now we'll do this top And always when you're painting the wood, you want to go with the grain, but there is no real grain. This is not real. This is kind of like a press board stuff, but when you are painting with wood, you want to go with the grain. And if you do not want the paint on, um, this is a little trick that I've learned over the years. If you did not want the paint on this front, bring it this way. So you get your clean edge and you see there's no paint on the front and then just come back and brush the edge down. The sides I'm not worried because like I said we're gonna clean this side up just a tad oh and this is drying nice so we'll be able to get a second coat probably all within this little video I'm not too worried because I've got a little bit of a lip here it's going to be um, Dutch board right so ah, put my finger on the side where I don't want there we go okay I probably got too much white I was thinking, sorry guys, I was thinking I had a lot. I have to fix my screen. Oh my goodness, when I look up at my, my monitor from my camera, all I see is, they call it um, giraffe? No, zebra. So everything and anything that's white, it's like a black and white grid. So it's hard for me to see anything. And like I said, I'm not very technical. So I have to figure out how to fix that. I did get a little bit of white on there. So I'm just going to wipe it with my finger while it's wet. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for just a minute. Maybe what we'll do while we're waiting, I'm going to do the whole thing green. So we're going to let that dry, and then I'm going to do the bottom. We're going to get another one out, and I'm going to get my Hunter's Green. You want to make sure you shake these. You can use any color. You can use any paint. I just had these kicking around and it just matched the color that I wanted. So wet your brush a little bit always so you're not putting it in dry. And we'll do this part while that part is drying. Multitasking. All right. And we're just going to go, I just have, oh, actually I didn't tell you what brush I'm using. This is just a wash brush. It's a plaid and it's a half inch. And we're just going to paint it all up. Now you probably could um, spray paint it if you wanted to. I just chose to paint it because I figured being being me 
that I wanted to get away from the spray paint at the moment. So. And you could, if you really want to take your time, you could just paint the upper part one color because I don't know if you can see, but with my brush, I'm able to just paint the raised part if I, if I took my time. And this will probably be good with one coat because like I said, in in there we're gonna do some um, just glitter which I think will be pretty and with that glaze would be nice you see what I mean by you can just get the top if you really wanted to and have it I was thinking a stain would be nice too, but I'm not sure how this um, would take to a stain. So. And you probably could use a bigger brush if you wanted to work a little faster. But you wanna make sure it's on there. And like I said, this would probably be good with one coat. about I'm going to get all of the upper part and then we'll just go all messy and get the inside and then it'll almost be like a second coat for the you guys are in there yes okay So once this will be done, we will um, get prepped and ready and we will do a Dutch pour on the top. So this one is going to be probably a whole week making. We'll see. I'm going to try and get it done for today's Sunday. So I'm going to try and get it done so it'll go up on Wednesday. But you never know the way life throws curveballs at you. So I thought I would paint this today and it should be dry by this afternoon hopefully and then we will tape the sides and we will do a Dutch pour just on the top and then what I will do is I will probably varnish or put a coat of Mod Podge on all of the white part. I'm putting this stuff on the green part so I won't need to seal that part. And then that way it's all sealed up but um, the resin will be just on the top. Which I think will be pretty. You probably could do it in a couple of steps but um, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. This was a good choice. I like this. I was wanting a nice deep green. And this has turned out to be quite nice color. Now you could take the time and tape here. But like I said, if you brush this way, it will should not go on. But you never know. There. I am going to come back and there we go. Let me just, I'm going to move this so you, I don't know, I'm hoping that's, uh, I just touched the top, but that's okay. We're doing a Dutch bar on the top. Okay. I wasn't sure. I'm hoping you're in there. All right. Now, like I was saying, I would do this on the edges, 
load up that brush a lot so you can do like a one a one coat and see it's not on the top might as well go the rest of the way and I'm debating I don't even know if we need to put any well I'm gonna do it anyway it's just cuz got a little bit on the top see I don't know if you can see it but right here this right here this is why you sand it do you see that little funky little thing And bring it out and it's clean and then I can scruff away on the top which is fine So anything is with it being that dark color it's hard to brush it off because this stuff absorbs kind of right away you wouldn't be able to brush it off like if it was a piece of wood I could probably take some alcohol or something and wipe it off there we go see perfect now I'm going to I have a scruff brush, but I'm just going to use this one and just get in there. Doesn't have to be anything fancy just to put color because, like I said, we're going to try and come in there with some glitter and all that fun stuff. I'm going to try and get just the big pieces here. And then I'll come back. Oops. This is probably where spray paint would come in handy. Just, just get all the bristles in there because there's spots where you're not going to be able to and to do that I would use a brush that you don't care about because you might ruin it when you do the scruffy part because I'm just picking this up for a sec guys so I can get I can see on the other side I just want to make sure it's all covered. There we go. Now I might um, bling up the knob. And then if you get a blob on the edge, just take your brush and smooth it out. There we 
go. I actually had my turquoise paint out because I was going to paint it like that nice turquoise that my bling bling was in. I might do a second coat around the edge because um, I can see through a little bit. And if I do second coats on anything, I will tell you, but I won't sh put you through all that pain of watching me do the same thing over again. Maybe since I've got this out, I will do the back of the um, the back that I want to do green. So since this is here and it's dried, that's the thing with working with this toll painting stuff. It tends to dry quick because you're doing little bits. So you can. And with the toll painting, you sanded between each coat. So this is not what I'm doing today. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more coat. Oh, I got a big blob on the back. I'm gonna just one more coat here. Just since it's dry and we're already here. I might decide to do the whole box green because I goofed. There's a little bit of paint on the, there's a little bit of paint right there. So if you come back and the whole box is green, that's why. Okay. Now I'm going to try and see if I can get in here. Just in and swirl around. Just in case, when I do try to put the um, the Mod Podge or the liquid glass in there, that it, in case there is a little bit that you can't um, see the the raw wood. That's all this is for. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do one leaf and then I will finish doing this just because it's very tedious and I don't want this to be a two hour video because it end up, because I got two other things to do on this. So I don't want to for you all with this part. There, see, that's one leaf done. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. We will paint the back on this one, seeing as I got. This is all dry. We'll paint this in here. Oh, I'm gonna get up so I, you can see it a little bit better. And we're just gonna paint. I'm gonna try and do just, what I'm gonna do is do the edges first. I'm going to put this one, I'm going to get a bigger brush. Oh my goodness, I have this one. 
that's a bigger one. Just wet it because your brush should be a little bit damp when you're going to use it. And this will paint this one quicker. Again, it's all about the tools, right? Good tools. See, but the tool painting I learned, the better the brush, the better the product. So that's why I bought that $20 brush that people were saying that's expensive, but not too worried here because I'm going to paint that white. Hopefully it'll cover. <laughs> and if it doesn't cover, we'll be painting it green. Actually, being the front is, uh, we'll see. Let's see, yeah, I might just paint that green. I'm going to flip it so I can. Get into this side better. So this, I'm going to do two coats on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two coats on this. So I'm going to let this dry, do a second coat, and then um, finish this on the inside and do a second coat of the white on the sides. Actually, maybe while it's... Here, I'm going to let that, let me just get the, the lip part in here because I want it to be green. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I have a stool here. I'm just getting in here just so I can get that. Are you seeing it? I'm good. Okay. And you can... put quite a bit of paint on just so you're getting a good coat the first time so you're not having to I'm just trying to get to get in the corner And I know it's a dollar store box, but you know what? You can make it look like it's a million bucks if you take your time and do things, right? Yeah, I'm going to come around and do the... Ooh! I pulled all the paint from there. So I'll do a second coat on that too when I'm... So I'm going to come around and I will do this edging green. Oops, I want to make sure I've got the foot. There we go. Just get all of that. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to take my sweater off. It's hot in here all of a sudden. All right, if I can. There we go, and do the bottom part, and then. We will come back with the second coat of it all done. Like that. I just want to make sure there's a little dab in there. Okay. Now, you can see where it's blotchy, so we're going to do a second coat. But, I'm going to do... the. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going to try and do, get a point, get quite a bit on it, 
because you don't want to and do this. And you never know, I might. Well, that's good because I'm not, like I said, the top is going to be um, Dutch poured. So squirt a little more paint. And let's get this edge. good coat of paint and you want to make it sharp and then you can just hopefully I'm gonna try and do it on the corner it worked so I figured if I did a good coat on this and then if it does bleed through you can touch it up with the white as I'm doing the second coat <laughs> I'm thinking this would be cute. The edging glittered. Alright. So excited to get my cover tomorrow so I can put my I don't know why it turned off. I didn't do anything different. I just put it down because I could hear it come off. That's crazy. I don't know. Maybe it thought I wasn't doing nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Some people might think I was doing nothing, but I was honest. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this up. dry so I'm just going to come back and do a quick second coat on this there we go if you've got any blobs make sure you kind of smooth it out a little bit do this edge and then I'm going to do since the inside's dry I'm just going to do the second coat on the inside actually put my brush in there so it's not going to be ruined I just put my brush I had the white just sitting out so I put my brush inside that little pail of water just so I didn't ruin it that's a 15 20 year old brush okay here we go. We're going to do a second coat on the inside and then I think the back is done. And then when that dries, we will put that glaze on. I'm excited to try it because it supposedly does like a multicolored effect I'm just gonna get that like that just get that corner one more load up and I think just want to smooth it out
And again, you could spray paint the whole thing. Tape it up and do each piece differently, right? But there you go. Nice, dark color. So when that dries, I'm gonna put this in the center and we'll see how it goes. Perfect. All right, so I don't know guys, do I do the whole thing green? I think I will. Just because the messiness there. So we're just gonna do it all green. It'll be done. Executive decision. I don't know why it keeps turning off. I have a full battery. I have a full, um, I have an hour to go on my memory card. So I don't know. This is craziness. I'll have to figure out why it keeps turning off. This is why I get 17 clips for one video, which is a, pardon the English, a pain in the Royal Canadian. I won't finish that word. Okay, and again, up, 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 so you don't get anything on the edging. Whoops, the front's dry, so I can hold that. And this way. So I'm just gonna give this a coat and then I will put you on pause and I will do a second coat of the white and a second coat of the green that I have that needs it. And we're just gonna do the whole box on the outside. Quickly before my, ah, oh, darn it, Sherry. Well, I can do this anyways. I just keep painting more because <laughs> I'm trying to hurry and I'm getting blobs everywhere. All right. Just gonna get the edge. And then come back with a, a nice clean see what I did so I'm gonna probably get a smaller brush and do the just the lip again oh my goodness okay I'm gonna finish this side finish this side really 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 quick and I'm not being quick because I don't want to show you. I'm being quick so that it doesn't shut off again. Bring it down to the edges. Oh my goodness. And in between, I'm going to figure out, hopefully, why it keeps shutting off. There we go. So that's all painted. That is ready to go. So I'm going to do a second coat on this and this, and I'll be right back. And hopefully I can figure out why the H. This keeps turning off. I'll see you guys after I do the second coat. Okay, we are back. Look at that. That right there was the most pain in the butt thing that I've done in a long time. So I would highly recommend you spray painting this front part. I did all four sides. I did two coats and that's that. 
I've done two coats on the side. I did the bottom. I just painted the legs. We're going to do something with the legs because I don't. Uh, and then I did two cuts, two coats on the back. Now I had wanted to put this just on the inside. And this I did a popsicle stick to see what it would look like. So that's what this dragon glaze does. So I think I might do just a thin coat on the inside of this. And then we're going to let that dry. I'm going to tape off here and here and the front, the back, so we can do our Dutch pour. We're going to do our door after. That's going to be our blingy part. But um, this is going to be the Dutch pour. So I'm going to put... I just want to get, actually, you know what, I'll put it on with a foam brush because I don't want to use a different product on my nice brushes. So I'm going to put a little bit on my plate. Where's the other one? I have two of these and they're different colors. But this one's the green, so we'll do that. I don't know, it looks like it's blue, green but it didn't look like it changed that much on there. So we will just do the, try to do just the inside portion. So you want to make sure that corner gets right in there. And I think this is one of those that's less is more. And if I'm using this wrong, please let me know. I've never used it before, so. I might just wet it down just a little bit. It doesn't seem to want to go on very smoothly. I don't want lines. And I think this might make my decision. I was going to do a little bit of either gold or silver, but I'm thinking that I have to do gold because this is uh, definitely has a gold tin to it. And I'm going to flip it around this way so I can get in here. And it will dry clear, I'm hoping. I'm going to just wet my brush and see if that helps to spread out this a little bit. It seems a bit thick. don't want the edges so and then I'm just gonna come back and do <laughs> it's drying so fast on me there we're gonna leave it let it dry and I'm gonna let this dry well actually it's probably good we could probably tape it I'm going to tape all the sides and hopefully, let's go this way. Because this is going to stay on, so I'm hoping, let me just see. Because if it does come off, I guess it, uh, you know what? 
we'll come back and I'm gonna tape when this is dry because I gotta tape the back too. So I'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll tape everything up so we can do our Dutch pour on the top. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, we are back, it's dry. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it's on there. It just gave it a gold sheen. I don't see any color difference than what it looked like it was going to do. So with that, we are going to tape and get ready so we can do our Dutch pour on the top. So you want to get as close as you can because this is going to stay on also for the resin. So I'm going to do that. Nothing fancy on the on the sides. I just want to cover it so that you're not getting any. I just want to make sure this line is very good because you don't want it to seep through. I'm just going to do this. And it don't matter on these, really, realistically, when you think about it, because it's white. And I'm just covering it just, to, just in case, because you never know. I'm just going to lift this up so it sticks here to the, the tape sticks to itself so there's no gap. end off just to make sure it's gonna stick to the other one let's give it a little bit of a gap maybe <laughs> perfect like I guess I'm not too worried about there because it's white anyway to the top as you can because we're going to leave this on when we resin as well as long as you're not feeling the the tape on the edge tape every time I go to the dollar store. I'm just going to grab one. They're behind me here. That's too funny. Every time I go to the dollar store, I buy one of these and a bag of puppy pads, which is funny. I just always want to be prepared. There we go. this side this is the one you really want to make sure because it's the one with the color and this is where the other sides are white you can always touch that up a little later This is going to turn out pretty good. A lot of work for a dollar store box, though, I must say. Oh, I want that to come. There we go. Perfecto. Done. Now, what I'm going to do is take my... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? My paint scraper and just 
And you know what, if it takes off the paint there, I'm not overly worried because we can always touch that up later. As opposed to having to touch up the colored paint. So with that done, I'm excited. Now here we go. This is going to, I've got my Dutch pour mix. This is the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. We will get the base on there. You know what, I'm just gonna, a little bit of a roll. Using my human tools again. And if it, you don't want the sides, so I'm wiping just so it doesn't bleed. If it, because uh, you want to go to the sides, but we're not worried about. Um, covering our edges on this one, right? Let me just get a piece of paper towel. And I'm just gonna cover these little bots, spots here. And like I said, we're base coated white, so it should all be good. All right, now I'm gonna give it a torch. And look at that, we got something in it. Woo, mama's on high. There we go. Get rid of our bubbles. Get rid of that thing that's on there. Perfect. So colors of choices today. We are, because I wanted to do silver, oh, tape, I wanted to do silver, because that's my thing. But because of the way it turned out with that um, that dragon stuff on there, it looks gold. So I've decided to put gold in there. So we have Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I'm going to use my love of my life, the Pebblio Studio Iridescent Green Yellow. Love that color. We are going to use Liquid X Basics Thalozine Green with Iridescent Medium. We are going to use um, Artist Loft Phthalo Blue with Iridescent Medium. We're going to throw in here Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And we got to put a pur purpley pink in there. So we are using Liquid X Basics Deep Violet with Iridescent Medium. And of course, it would not be Sherry without a Deco Art Glam Dust. This one is Sapphire Blue. All right, my friends, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. We are gonna go with, let's do gold on the bottom. And I'm gonna do, oh, just plain Jane. We're just gonna go down the center. And you don't need a lot because it's little. So that's the 24 karat gold. Oh my gosh, we've got three greens. So let's do the thalozine ir with ir ir iridescent medium. I can't speak at all today. Tongue tad. Let's do, we don't want a lot of this, so let's do the violet next. If I can get the lid off. Oh my goodness, it's dots. Let's do the Peblio. Oh, just love that color. We will do the Glam Dust. And let's do this. Thalo Blue. 
lot of color, but we're just not going to put a whole lot of each. And then let's finish it off with this metallic cobalt blue because it's kind of got a green color to it. Alrighty, I pulled this out, but we not, did not end up using it. Somebody asked if I used a straw to blow. This is what I use. Well, if we need to blow, we'll blow with that. I have, I'm gonna give it a quick torch. All the way around. And let's go. Here we go, here we go. All right, wish me luck. I don't know if I want it. Oh, it's so little. All right. lost so much. Let's see. The cells are going to happen. And what I'm doing is I am wiping as much as I can off this edge. So it does not bleed into it. shame because all the bright colors kind of blew away. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Let's see. They want to come out up here, but let's go. You know there's color in there, so I always like to blow it out with it. I know that there is color underneath that white. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to turn it because I want to blow something over here. Maybe see if this guy can go that way a little bit. Just to give a little bit of a contrast there. Maybe see if I can get this over here. it I don't know what else to do cuz the other one I didn't blow as hard which is kind of funny but this is pretty still I just want to make sure that it's not gonna bleed all right cuz like I said the other one it is the same well this one's a little bit even wider I probably could have paid more attention but it's still pretty. So with that, oh no, I may have to touch the bottom up. I forgot about the, let's just drip this off here. I put my hand on the bottom and I just, so used to scraping. Well, there you go. I think that is cool. Maybe a little bit to torch in here. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Wondering if I blew it that way, it might give a little more. But I like this area here. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna let that dry completely. And then we will come back and it takes maybe a couple of days, so maybe in the meantime, we'll do that, let it dry, 
maybe we can do the bling on this in between. That turned out pretty good. I like, I like that color. Nice dark green. I think that'll be pretty with the color that's there. And then we can do, um, I might just do the bling in the big areas. I think would be nice. So, all right, with that being said, oh, I was trying not to say that. Um, I'll put you on hold, we'll let this dry, and we will come back in a little bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I thought I would do the bling part on the front of this while I am waiting for the Dutch Porter dry before I can put my resin on. So what I've done is I have got Mod Podge and I mixed it basically a little less than half and half and I put it in this needle bottle and that's why I had to thin it out because it wouldn't go in the needle bottle. So my thoughts are I'm going to be tedious and put it all in the leaves in where all those little spots are. So let's see if it works. I'm going to try the smallest one I can see to see if it works. And it does. So I'm going to squirt quite a bit in each one. And then we will do glitter. And I gotta kind of work a little fast because you want to do a couple at a time. I'll do one leaf and we'll see how that goes. Maybe what I'll do is we'll do one leaf, let it sit for a minute and see if it works. And if it works, I'll come back and we'll do the rest this way because I think this is actually about the only way without doing that because you do not want any on the top make sure that that's dry actually maybe that'll work I will do this leaf and that leaf and this one, this one, this one, and this one in one color. And then I'll come back and do the other one in a different color. But I want to get this on before it, it dries. I'm going to use the liquid glass, but I think this is the better of the two ideas. Do I use this one? And then a little bit of this one. So I think these three, one, two, three, four, I'll do green. And I'm going to get this. And I'm going to hope and pray that it works. Try and get what I can directly in the holes. So I'm not wasting Laura's lovely glitter. This one is, let me, let me scoop this in here first and then I'll tell you what this one is. What I'll do is I'll dump and then I'll give it a shake. This one is called Deep Forest. Not pretty. Thank you. 
my hand. So it's good that I'm going to do this color every other one. And I think there. I'm going to move that so I don't spill it. I'm going to try and shimmy it all into the corners. There. And then I'll do this one, this one, and this one. And these three will be gold. This one. All right. So we'll do these three, let them dry, shake them off, make sure I can get all of that other glitter off. That's excess. And then we will do the gold. Maybe what I'll do is put a piece of paper over top these ones to refrain from putting gold all over those because I think I want them to be different. Just like me, different in more ways than one. Do this quick. You want to make sure, like I said, off the top. You, ah! Don't want it in there. I just want to. Here we go. Same thing, just a little bit on the end because you don't want to waste this beautiful stuff. And you make sure you get it in all the cracks and Just get the ends here. Just give it a shake about. It gets to all the edges. And then we will do this one. I'm going to put my glitter back down here. No. You can see, see, I'm just And I got these little bottles off of Amazon. I have them in two sizes. I have them in this size as well. But I didn't want to, I like the bigger ones for my alcohol ink, so I didn't want to waste. I got a whole bunch of these little ones that I. Perfect. Let me just get this in there. And stick it in there. Oh, it won't go in that one. Okay. We'll get some glitter on that one. Everybody wondered where I got the metal rack that I'm on, that I have my thing on. It is from Walmart. 
It's a cupboard rack. I just want to make sure that's not. And it is too. Oh my goodness, I don't want it in there. All right. All of this, and I'll probably end up having it all over the lines. A little bit in here. Perfect. And then let's give that a little shake about. I may put a little more in here. Ah, jeepers! Just get a little more. There. All right, we'll leave it at that. And then this guy. All right. Wish me. and then we're good. goodness there's a lot in there you have to watch because sometimes you'll get a big bubble and that's what happened on the first one paper towel in there I can get that out but there's a more in there than I wanted there all right let's try this again and then we'll let it sit and move it back and shake it off and do the gold things you do for crafts. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of a lot of work for one little box. But won't it be pretty in the end? I have to, I'm my own worst enemy because I I can't just do something simple. I always have to tweak it and do something different. And, it's just the story of my life. I think that's it. Oops, give that a little shake about. There we go. I want that off there. And you know what, actually, if it does go on there, I can touch it up with some paint. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry probably about half an hour and I'll come back down, shake it off and we'll do the gold. Yeah, this one is the Deep Forest. They were both from Laura's Art Corner. This one is also called Gold Dust Fine Glitter. So I think that would be pretty in those three. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna shake off this. Hopefully it'll come off. Let's. 
we will brush out the extra. I've got a piece of paper because I don't want to lose any of this beautiful glitter. But I definitely want to get the loose stuff off. And just take a, a clean, dry brush. Oh my goodness, it worked. It worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna take this and hopefully, oh definitely, look at that, look at that. Look, Laura, I'm not wasting. Okay. We're going to put that right back in here because, you know, we've got to get all of that beautiful stuff. Look at that. Oh, I am so amazed. Perfect. All right. So, and that being not going to say that sentence because <laughs> here we go. We're going to do this with gold. We have three to do with the gold. All right. We're gonna start with this guy in the little holes. So don't forget, you can go on to Laura's art corner I'll have the link in my description box and you can use the, my discount code to get some beautiful glitter and paste. Oh my goodness, I've never used a paste before. And that is pretty cool. I'm impressed with the pastes. I've only ever used the mica powders in the resin. might try to get out a little whoops I'm gonna to want to stand that up in here this kind of went a little bit much trying to absorb some of that and in this one there nothing on the top now I'm using the gold dust fine glitter let me see what's the other one that she sent me I don't want to use that one and there was another, I thought there was another gold. I don't know which one. Olympic gold medal. Is it fine? Hmm. I think we'll use that one, the gold dust fine. The Olympic gold medal is nice, but I think it's a little more chunky. Er. So let's get this going. I'll get a new spoon because I don't want that to... Maybe if I can get a bigger one and I can use this glitter. Oh, that's glitter. All right. Just a little bit of my spoon and we're going to shake it in here. Whoa. Don't want to lose that. not to get it into the other ones either uh, which I just did I just got a last two that I didn't get any in Shake, shake, make sure it goes in all the corners. Perfect. We're going to do that one next. And there. Do, do, do. 
Tudo. Oh, stuck. There we go. I think this would be cute with the flower one. You can do different colored petals if you wanted to. Or this might be more of a pain in the butt than most people want to do, but it would be a nice gift for someone special because you definitely wouldn't be able to sell it because you would not get your money for that. Woo, that came out pretty good. Everything's drying fast down here. I got, there's bubbles. I just want to break the bubbles. And, oh, ah, I just dropped it on there. I may have to switch this one into a little jar. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to go on the lines the way. I'm trying to go on the angle as the, the petal. And it goes in a little better if you're using a spoon. There we go. Uh, in the hole. There we go. Shake it around. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. One more to go. not going to be a big bubble, which it is. There we go. At the end of this, I'm probably going to do a spray varnish on this front door. I just want to make sure because that's not the leaf. I almost put it in the wrong hole. And a little in there. There we go. These are the best little bottles I bought. Very cool. All right. to do a whole lot just because I don't want to waste this. Alrighty, we're gonna get it in the holes. you get just a little bit in there then you can kind of shake it around because I think that's good maybe I can try and get a little bit on the top more inside there perfect and this one I'm gonna leave the spoon I love the spoon especially when it's in a bag okay and we're gonna give it a little shimmy around Gonna be pretty. I'm gonna leave this part the way it is. Maybe I will do the knob a different color, maybe. Maybe I'll paint the knob but gold. Actually, maybe I'll do that now. I have my 24 karat gold. I've <laughs> I could
couldn't find it and then I ended up with four bottles for some silly reason. Okay, I'm gonna try and open it. Oh my goodness. So much for that, I bent my tweezers. <laughs> All right. Actually, you know what? I do not want to do that because then the glitter will go on it. But what I'm going to do is I think that'll be a pretty match. We will match the, we'll paint the knob in the gold. All right, we're going to let that dry. We will come back and shake it off and then we're going to let everything set i still have to wait for the um the dutch pour to dry to do the rest of it so i will see you guys when this is dry hey we are back we're going to shake off this gold let's give it a little shake shake oh, there's not as much gold that's good in there with the brush get it all all the loose ones perfect there we go I think that turned out actually quite cute I like that now I'm going to have to come there's a couple of spots here with the that has the um, the green glitter, and I'll get that off. <laughs> I figured I would um, paint the knob. Look, there's not much there. Awesome. Slip that underneath. I think I might paint the knob gold. And I'm just gonna keep shaking out all of this extra gold. Let me grab the, let me just see how our other thing is drying. Back over. See, that's coming around really good, but it still needs to dry. It might take a day or two, so I'm probably gonna um, leave it at that for now. And then when that's all dry, we'll come back and um, I think that'll be pretty inside there. All right. I'll see you back when we're going to take off this and give it a varnish. I'll see you guys in a bit. Even though it's going to be resin, not varnish. All right. Bye. Good morning. We are back and everything is dried. I think that turned out pretty cool. So instead of taking the tape off, I decided I'm going to just resin, leave the tape, and if there's any fixing up underneath we'll do it all at the same time I have mixed up some resin with that being said I used my um, mask to um, while I was mixing it up I have my Dyson air purifier going I'm choosing not to wear it so that I can tell you what I'm doing my resin of choice is crystal resin it will be in the description box and with that being said here we go Oh, I said it. That being said, I've mixed up quite a bit because we're making some darn X's and O's after. So I have got this and I'm probably sure this is a quarter of an ounce. I don't want to put a whole lot on it. So I am just going to use one of these, which I overfilled, pour it on and I'm pretty sure that I'm just using my finger because I'm using my finger to spread it out and I don't want to go over the edges if I cannot if I you know try not to so I'm just gonna spread it out spread it out do as much as I can in the center and then work your way to the edge This just gives everything just a pop of color. And again, 
Um, if my video is a little long, you may hit that fast forward button. But as most of my followers, you get all of it with Sherry. Most of my followers know. I would rather put it up there and then give you an option. So yeah, just, you don't need a lot. Just this thin little coat. I am going to give it a torch after I wipe off my fingers. And I'm going to put my cats are fighting. I'm going to put a half of one just because I see spots because I don't want it to go over the edging. So I see spots. There's a little bit here, a little here. And look at that. We've got a piece of glitter. How would that have happened? Glitter? I don't get it. Let's see, we'll give it another scrape out. Just want to touch it where I'm pushing it back in, but it will back up over again. It's hard to see for you guys, but to me, maybe just a tad bit more in this corner. I'm just going to pour it out of here. So I'm going to say this probably took an ounce. I want it to go to the edge and not have any funky little. I think we are good. All right. I, again, we're going to give it another torch. And then I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to pour my X's and O's and then we're going to come back and finish painting the front while this dries. And then tomorrow, oh my goodness, we can put it all together. Oh, the colors are just amazing. That glitter sparkle that this turned out beautiful here. So there you go, my friends. We're going to let this sit overnight and we will come back in a bit. We will finish the box. Um, the box front and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, we are back. We're just gonna paint um, the knob gold and possibly Maybe we'll see I'm gonna I've got my um, Deco art extreme sheen 24 karat gold. I'm gonna put it in one of my little silicone Just a little don't need a lot wet. I have a eight, a number eight flat and we're just gonna wet a little because you don't want your brush to be completely dry and in we go. Just a little, just enough to cover it because you don't want to get it messy and I'm gonna try to Get it into the center. Ooh, I might just do an, a thin coat on this. Looks like a... Let me show you here. Just trying to get into... I think I won't do... I'm not going to do a full coat. It looks almost like a varnish, a varnishing or whatever you want to call it. Like a... Almost looks like gold leaf. A little it's kind of cool actually I'll do one more little coat on the top of it I don't want to go all the way to the bottom because I 
then it's going to get messy. So let me just kind of get what I can into the just pointing my tip in there and and then just go nice like this over the top. I think I'm going to just leave it at that. It doesn't need to be solid. Hmm. <sighs> do I? I think I will. I'm just going to just do the edge. I'm just going to. I'm going to bring it this way and then we'll go that way. So we'll kind of meet in the middle. And it gives it that sharp edging, but you want to keep the paint wet. So you want to keep dipping in, making sure there's a, a sharp tip. And then I'm going to come at it this way before it dries. Yeah, that was what I was afraid of. Let me grab my Q-tip and some alcohol. That's what I was afraid of. I'm just dipping alcohol in this other little one. I didn't want to get it on the leaf itself. All right. Actually, this is small enough. I could just do it. Oh, I don't know. Just don't know if I like it now that I've put it there. You know what? This is... Of the box so it don't much matter if you get a little bit on the top I'm thinking but I'm just gonna run it because it's thin enough it's the same width so I'm just gonna try and just um, go the length of it Keep bringing up the paint. We'll start from the edge here. And I'm just going to keep picking up because I want it to be the same consistency. There's a line there that you can see it's dried a bit. So we're going to just lightly hit it. Careful when you come to the leaf. And then do a nice long sweep. Oh. Oh, I wish I would have left it. You know what? Oh, I should have left it. But I gotta go with it. It's committed. All this work. I should have done gold leaf. It might have been a little easier than the painting it. Just 
just keep dipping. Just going lightly. I'm trying not even to really. There. And like I said, I'm going over the edging, but at this stage, because I'm not happy with it, I really don't. We'll touch it up with the green on the sides. And really. So you're not Ooh, a little bit much there. Crazy. If it's not one thing, it's another. My battery died as I was here. So I carried on. So I didn't have a dry line. New battery. And here we go. Finish this up. And I think we might do one more coat around the edge. Like I said, since we've committed, we might as well make it. I'm just going to go like this, possibly. Just because I want to get that edging there. Aha, that's better. And this side, I'm going to do a nice, try and do a nice smooth. I'll start here. Just so I can get a nice crisp line. Because there's no barrier between this leaf. and then I just hit it. Okay, so we're going to do one more little coat over top of this all the way across. And then we're going to do top coat on this top line, I think, and then just so that it's not so blotchy. As you can see, it's blotchy. Especially like right here. Just keep trying to keep it wet so that it will smooth. now that we've got that little bit of a base down. There we go. Let me see if I can get that piece off there. Oh my goodness, there's always something, eh, guys? this one. Now, oh, you know what? We're going to leave it. I just don't want to make more of a mess. All right. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to do another coat all the way around. And then we will take this outside and I will give it a spray with, um, ouch, with my Winsor Newton gloss varnish. I'm going to give that a spray. I don't want to do it in my basement at the moment, so I'm not going to show you that on camera. Actually, maybe I'll do the knob.
just the top of the knob. And then it'll be perfecto. Well, as close to perfect as we can go. All right, I'll do the second coat. I'll give it a burnish. We'll come back once the um, resin is dry on top of the, the top part. And I think we'll just be putting it together. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we're back. Everything is dry. One of my studio lights went out. So I'm hoping this is good. Um, yeah, nothing ever goes right for Sherry. So this is all dried. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I started to take the tape off and I went, no, I can't do that. So we're just gonna take off this tape. We're gonna patch, give a little bit of a spruce up there. And look at those clean lines. That is just amazing. Clean lines with the resin, but not with the paint. <laughs> so we're just gonna touch all that up, but is that not pretty? I'm impressed. And then with our little door, I did two coats of, um, where is it? My gloss varnish by Windsor Newton. I did, I went outside and I did two coats and that looks amazing. So let's put the door in and see what we look like here. There we go. I think it looks pretty. I just have to touch up with the white, with the white here. And I don't know, I was gonna do the legs and I'm gonna touch up with the green. Um, yeah, I was gonna do the legs. Maybe I'll do the legs green, but uh, yeah. So with that, I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick mix up here of some um, of some more of the white with the uh, that artist loft. Um, see, I don't notice a difference in it. Oh, I guess you can see, can you see the little flakes? With the iridescent medium, that's what I put in it. All right. And I'm probably not going to, I'm just going to do this and we'll do a quick little coat of, I'm just going to touch it up and then just even it out. And I'll probably have to come back. I'm not doing the feet because I'm thinking on doing them a different color. Touch up all of this. And again, this is the bottom. So, but you still want it to look nice. If I wanted to be a perfectionist, I would sand all this a little bit first, to be honest. Okay, so that's that. Let's, so we're, we're gonna do, oh, do two coats. I'm having a hard time with my hand. Oh, I had, uh, trigger finger and my middle finger on my right hand. I had that done. So I'm gonna let that, that dry and do that. And then I'm gonna take the green and do a little bit, oh, I can't even squeeze that. My whole thumb right down. I can't, uh, my whole thumb and all the way up here, it's just screaming the last, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's been a week. Oh, we got a cat down here. We might get a little bit chaotic. So I'm just gonna touch, try and touch this up here. Oh. You know what? I actually am going to wipe that off and we are going to 
Here, I'm just going to use this. Let's see if I can sand that a little bit. It might be worth... I'm going to take the door out because I don't want to scratch up the front what we've done on that. Sorry, guys. Let's see if this helps us. Because there is green under that white. And I don't think that's going to make a difference. <laughs> well, you got to try, right? I'm just going to give that a little bit of a, a wipe so there's no... I was bad. I made a mistake and left my lights on. They've been on for two days. I totally forgot to turn them off. And I think I might have blown a bulb. So we're going to have to do two coats on all of these. And I'm just thinking while I'm going. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do the, let me put, I'm going to put this down so I'm not going to scratch my top of the. Yeah, I think we might do green feet. So we're going to do a coat of green on these feet. We're just going to do a coat of green, and I think I might do, um, come back and do like a brushed on the gold with it. So. And this is all I'm doing. So I'm going to, because this video is so long as it is, I'm going to paint all the four legs like this. As you can see, just trying to get as close as I can without hitting the white. I'm going to touch up the white with a couple of more coats because it's going to probably take another coat or two of the white. So we're going to do that and then I'll come back and we will be all done. But I will show you that I'm going what I'll do is I'll do the one leg, I'll do all four legs, or three legs, and then I'll show you me putting the gold on the leg. So, with that being said, I'll be back uh, once all this dries, and hopefully we will be finished. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, I've done three of the legs, and I'm going to do the last one with you guys. I've just got my 24 karat gold in here. I'm using a three quarter inch flat brush. And normally you wouldn't goop it on, but I'm gooping it on. I'm going make it flat, go to the top and bring it down because I don't want to play with it too much. So I'm going to do this down here. It's what I found worked better and then bring it down. And then the same idea, flatten it out, up close. And this, if some of the green shines through, I'm not too worried because it's only the feet. It's just awkward holding it. There we go. And again, same thing. And bring it down. Well, I guess I am going. 
I'm glad we're opened. I'm going to the camera shop to see if they have a light bulb. That is craziness. Okay, I'm just gonna, I see a little bit of the green up here. I'm just gonna kind of try and touch it up and bring it straight down. And I'm more, oh, that is the front. So there we go. I think that's that. I'm not gonna go too, too crazy with them, but yeah, so there's the feet. i move this out of the way. All my stuff together. So I'm excited. I think this turned out really, really cute. Now I need to um, spray, but I don't think I'm gonna spray this box. I am just gonna use my, um, I'm, I'm gonna give the sides and the back a coat of gloss varnish. And I'm not going to do that on camera just because I've put you through so much torture already. I'm just basically going to paint the sides, the back, and the, the legs and the feet and the back, bottom, sorry. And with that, um, we'll be back and it'll be all finished. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm back. We are all finished. I did a coat of varnish on all sides and my little legs and I put some um, felt in here I had these kicking around from the dollar store and I've seen these and I thought that is perfect so I'm going to show you what I did I took this if you will need to measure put that in there I took my finger went like this and then you've got a line to cut it. And then with that line, all I did was go like this with the leftover. And I did the same thing like that. So one piece did, and that's what's in there. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put them all together, put her, him, all together. And there is our dollar store box. Sorry about the extended long video and sorry about the bad lighting i'm hoping this one light is good enough but yeah there you go what i'll do is i'll take it outside it's beautiful and sunny right now so i'll take you outside i'll let you look at it outside and then we will be done oh with my extra resin i made another tray um, this one I just put glitter in and it actually turned out pretty cool. All right. With that being, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Okay. I'll be right back. There you go, my beautiful people. I brought it outside because it is so sparkly and it was hard to see downstairs. And look at this. That just glistens in the sun. Like, look at that. Crazy. I think it turned out really, really cute. My little gold legs. And I'll show you the back. So, there you go. So, that is that. Sorry for the long video, but with that being said, I should not have said that. <laughs> it's too funny. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, even though it was exceptionally long. And if you do like, give it a share. Hit the bell for notifications when I get my next video. And yeah, the links, I've got links and everything for Laura's Art Corner. Use my discount code. It's all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%. And my Facebook page link is there. And also, if you want to donate, my PayPal link is also there. So with that being said, again, I apologize. Um, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.